Hello, I'm Sandra Weirden and I'm non-executive director of Churchill Gowns. Overall, I enjoyed the PhD and it was, looking back, a very positive experience. For someone like me, who'd been working for a long time and hadn't written an academic paper since my master's degree, the doctoral programme was particularly useful because it provides an opportunity for you to start to learn to write again, really, as an academic. The first part of the programme requires you to write a number of papers. And if you haven't done that for a while, then this programme's fantastic because it gives you a lot of support and it allows you to break yourself back into the academic realm quite easily. The other benefit, I think, about the first part of the programme and the bit that I really enjoyed was being able to work alongside others during that first two years. So there are four residentials and you get to meet other people that have taken on a PhD at the same time as you. And you work together through that and develop a really useful network. And PhDs can often be very isolating and I think this is one of the great features about the programme at Lancaster. I thought it was a good design because, as I say, the residentials provide interesting insights into current research in education and the second part of the programme allows you to work with a supervisor doing your own research. So they're quite different parts really and I think they're very, they work very well together. Looking back, I think I particularly liked doing the research. I was very interested in the topic. I got to visit some wonderful places. I went to the University of Bologna in Italy. I went to do some research at the Bodleian Library in Oxford. And I went to St Andrews University and I had an extraordinary time. So I really enjoyed the research itself. The papers that you're required to do at the beginning of the programme seemed quite daunting when I first arrived and again that was because I hadn't written anything academically for quite a while. You do get an extraordinary amount of support, not just from the staff in the department but also from your colleagues who are also working alongside you. I found it useful to learn how to structure an academic paper and I think by the end of the first part of the programme I felt confident about writing academic papers and happy to publish as well at that point. My PhD is quite unusual really. <laughs> it's about degree ceremonies or graduation ceremonies. I didn't start out wanting to do a PhD about graduation ceremonies. In fact, my focus had been from the outset to look at how some cultures seem to generate the effect of continuity over time and how others don't and how others disappear. And I was very interested in how material artefacts and spaces contributed to the generation of those effects. So in order to look at that, I chose to look at graduation ceremonies because they're 800 years old, they're highly prescribed, very repetitive. As I started to look at them, I realised that there'd been very little research about them. So that became the focus of my PhD because there'd been so little research about them. And the main purpose of my study was to shed more light on how degree ceremonies are constructed and perpetuated over time, and in particular, a time of significant global growth in higher education. The main findings were, I was able to identify five features of degree ceremonies that have survived since the medieval period. So I was able to show or demonstrate how material artefacts contribute to the effect of continuity in such cultural rituals. Perhaps one of the most interesting findings was the fact that ceremonial maces that are carried at these events still remain as a sign of the institution's authority to award degrees. And the meaning and purpose of the use of mace, if you like, at degree ceremonies hasn't changed for 800 years and I find that quite remarkable. Many of the other things have changed, including academic dress, surprisingly. A lot of people think that academic dress is medieval. Its roots are in medieval attire, but over the centuries it has changed and proved itself to be very adaptable and actually reflects quite a lot of university history and changes that have happened within universities over that period. If from a more contemporary point of view, I think what my study demonstrates 
demonstrated was how graduation ceremonies and presentation ceremonies are increasing in popularity and being perpetuated around the world. Sometimes they follow the Western style of graduation ceremony, either that that we see in Europe or that that we see in America. But there are also some very interesting graduation ceremonies around the world that are quite different to the ones we see. One of the things that my research showed was that there are new commercial markets opening up alongside graduation ceremonies. And this, I think, starts to demonstrate how universities are becoming embroiled, if you like, in commodification. I think also it highlights how these ceremonial occasions not only are important to institutions for the students, but also for the institutions themselves because they give them an opportunity to demonstrate their reputation, their quality, um, they give them an opportunity to communicate with a wide range of stakeholders in a public space. They benefit both the students and the institutions. I think one of the findings that I thought was also interesting was how much work goes into preparing and maintaining these occasions and that the effects of continuity and orderliness that we see at graduation ceremonies takes an awful lot of work and to see what goes on behind the scenes in order to present these amazing occasions for students. I think that demonstrates the importance of them to the institution because they put a lot of effort and money into hosting these events. It shows how important they are to the institution as well as the students. Before I did the PhD, I had had quite a busy career as a management consultant, travelled around the world, lived overseas. Up until the PhD, I thought that if I had a project before me, I could throw myself at it and complete it rather quickly. And I think the PhD has taught me how consistent working over a period of time can produce amazing results. Somebody said when we started the PhD that it's a marathon, not a sprint. And I think that's a brilliant way of putting it. And as long as you go in with that in mind, I think you know, you'll know you make it to the end. When I started out, I wasn't sure what I was going to do with my PhD at the end. I was very fortunate to be able to do a PhD without having to worry too much about what I was going to do at the end so I could do something I really wanted to. Since I finished, I have written a book about degree ceremonies, set up a small company called Degree Ceremonies Limited where I want to share more of my research through carefully curated publications and products. And I'm also the non-executive director of an academic dress company called Churchill Gowns, which is an extraordinary startup company because the gowns that they make are made from 28 recycled plastic bottles. So they have very strong environmental credentials and I think for that reason I'm really proud to be working with them. I also now sit on the board of a charity called the Bergen Society, which is a charity dedicated to the education about academic dress. They also curate and manage um, a large collection of academic dress, which is an international collection, and they advise television companies and film companies about academic dress, making sure they have accurate representations of it. And they have a journal where they publish papers about this. I sit on the board of this charity now, and I don't think any of that would have happened without having done my PhD. The staff are amazing. I've worked in a, um, higher education before and I think the department at Lancaster were extremely good and welcoming, very welcoming and very supportive. I think everybody that I, I worked with would say the same. The administration staff were extraordinary. They just went above and beyond to help you at every step of the way. And the faculty, the academic staff were amazing as well. I mean, they were very helpful. They had lots of time to give you. They were very patient. But they also were researching and writing at the forefront of educational research. So if you wanted to go somewhere where they're pushing boundaries and they're actually looking to develop educational research, then I think this is a great place to come.